How's it going? Uh, so I bought a Custom 35 from Original Skateboards. There's a little bit of an issue with the construction of it, so they're going to replace it. But they don't know when it's going to get back in. So they said they're going to give me a uh, Apex 37, which is a really, really sweet board. And I'm excited to get it, but it's not in production yet. So in the meantime, they gave me a loaner board, which is really cool. So here it is. And for all you haters out there, this is the J. Alders new 43 inch pintail not even released to the public yet okay this board is absolutely gorgeous it's 43 inches long and i think it's 8.8 .8 wide so, nine ply construction dude it's a real thick board i mean but that's it's pretty sweet graphic i mean jay alders is famous for his Really, really sweet paintings. I mean, this guy's surfing. I think it's called Facing the Left Wall or something along those lines. I mean, he's, he's just a phenomenal artist. Uh, the board, man, I mean, it's really, really sweet design. Um, they cut it out, the grip tape, laser cut it through the top. Um, what else is good? Oh, yeah, they gave me trucks to use, too. I mean, off my board, I still have uh, S10s, purple Otang and heats, and... Uh, Super Swisses, but I they gave me some uh, retro 70 millimeter zigzags, a little bit used, but dude, it's a loner board, you know, I could care less. And some S8s, so I'm gonna ride this for a little while, come back with a little review, and see what right, you So I just got in from riding the J Elders 43 inch pintail by Original Skateboards. And honestly, the board has a really, really nice concave deck. It's really solid. Really solid. And it feels really nice when you're popping in and out of cars. It's really nice to have that little bridge on both sides. Give you a little bit more stability. Like some, uh, some Sector 9s don't really have that. And it's really nice to, have, to be able to take advantage of that on a long board. Um, very solid. I didn't have any stability issues with the deck. It's just real solid hunk of wood, man. It's nice, real nice. Painted beautifully. People complimented me when I was walking up the hill. This uh, some lady was like, "Oh, I really like that design." I said, "Thanks." Oh, well, I thought Jay that you liked it. <laughs> but the one thing I didn't like about the board <laughs> is the trucks they gave me. S8s are not my personal choice, my preference on a long board. Uh, it's anything more than 40 inches, probably. I mean, it's just, this is, it needs a little bit more stability. In my opinion, I'm a big dude, a little bit more stability. But, uh, and it comes with black springs, which is really, really loose. Good on a small hill, but on a big hill, it can be a little squirrely. But it, it's a nice board, it's a real nice board. Right, I'm actually going to throw my purple O-Tangs and my S-10s on this in the meantime. Um, but yeah, another thing, it actually has it has a graph bottom as well, just like the uh, Apex. So, I don't know if you can really see that, but you see... You kind of see it right there where it cuts in near the uh, wave cam. But yeah, graph bottom is a really nice feature. Uh, it's That's really, really good because it gets the board lower to the ground and it lets you have a smoother, more powerful push. But yeah, so overall, it's a really, really solid board. I, I dig it. I, I still can't wait for my Apex. But uh, maybe original, let me keep this one too.